Hello, this is Rick Gray. I wanted to talk for a minute about Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. If you have not read that book, or if it's been a while since you have read it, get it out, dust it off, and reread it. I went through it again here last week, and I taught a class on the time management matrix. And it's amazing to me how simple and how profound his principles are in that book. And I talk to people every day that have never read it. <laughs> this is a classic business and life book. It's something you need to read. And he, he talks a lot about communication in that book and a lot about leadership. One of the things about leadership is it has to come from a servant's heart. And the only way that can truly happen is for you to understand what other people want. I love the habit, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Most people don't live that way. Most people are always waiting and trying to get their story in. It's as Stephen Covey calls it, the collective monologue. <laughs> There's two people talking, but while one is talking, the other one is preparing their speech, preparing to jump in and say what they want to say. They're not listening to each other. Think about the conversations in the world and the conversations in your life. Are people really trying to understand the other person's perspective? Or are they just waiting to get their own word in? That's a classic statement, and it has a profound effect on your life. If you really start listening to what it really means and applying it, seek first to understand, then to be understood, right? And it leads right into the next one, which is think win-win. Don't go for win-lose, and certainly don't go for lose-win. A better solution is win-win or no deal. Sometimes that's the best way to go. Win-win, we both get treated fairly, we both get what we want, or no deal. There's some classic principles in that book, written in the late 80s by Stephen Covey. So get it out, reread it, and start making sure you're applying the seven habits of highly effective people to your life. And that is the seventh habit, right? Sharpen the saw is the seventh habit. Work on yourself. Improve your skills. It's always something that I'm talking about. How do you make more money? You become more valuable. How do you become more valuable? You become more knowledgeable and increase your skills. That is sharpening the saw. So get your journal out. Get the book, The Seven Habits for Highly Effective People. Go through it and take away the main points and start applying them again to your life. It is a wonderful, wonderful book. Thank you, Stephen Covey, for offering such a great and profound tool for us to use. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.